Welcome to another data structure video, and this time around, we're looking at skip lists. Now, if you haven't seen this before, or are just starting to understand it, then as you can see, look, this looks very different to what you've probably seen before. So let's take a couple minutes to break it down so it doesn't seem so daunting. First, this is a sort of map that traverses like a linked list. You can actually instantiate a skip list in Java with a concurrent skip list map. As you can tell, it's sorted from left to right in ascending order. That's where the sorting part comes in. And it's a map because each entry is a key value pair, or I'm just showing the keys for this example. Now, it's like a linked list because each of these entries are nodes. Every node has a reference to other nodes to the right, to the left, above, and below, as well as holding the key value pairs. Some of these node references can certainly be null, so don't forget that. All right, so let's take a look at a row of data. This is called a level and the highest level determines the height of the skip list. So the height here is five because the highest level is S sub five. The bottom level is S sub zero. The negative infinity and positive infinity nodes are called sentinel nodes and they never change. Every column is called a tower. As you can see, every tower holds the same key and we will discuss that in the video explaining insertion and deletion. One last thing before we get to an example, is that every level has about half of the nodes of the one below. This is because skip lists are a probabilistic data structure, and this all happens during insertion. Essentially, we flip a coin and increase the size of the tower if it's heads and stop if it's tails. All right, so now let's do a search. Okay, so let's say we're searching for a, a key of 50. All right, so we can see key 50 already, but how do we get there? Well, we always start at the top left node in the skip list. And the reason is because this is the highest level and it's the smallest key value on that level. So it's always gonna be negative infinity on the highest level. So we always start. So the first thing we do is we see if we can drop down and we can drop down if the, the below reference of this node is not null. And it's not because it holds negative infinity. Okay, so now that we're down a level, once you go down level, you always try and scan forward as much as you can, and then go down again, and then scan forward until you can't anymore, and you keep we keep repeating this process. So, uh, we now that we went down a level, we'll go forward and say, hey, is 17 less than 50? It is, so we can go forward. We're only, we're only going to stop going forward if the next, uh, the next reference on that level is higher than the key we're searching for. So now we're at 17, the next reference is positive infinity. That's higher than 50, so we can't go forward anymore. All right, so now that we can't go forward anymore, we're gonna try and drop down a level. So we'll say, okay, is the below reference null? It is not, it, is, it, holds, value, it holds 17. So now that we're down here, we're gonna go forward and say, all right, is 25 less than 50? It is. So we can now go to this node. We can't go forward anymore because positive infinity is greater than 50. So now that we can't go forward, we're gonna try and drop down. And we can because this below reference is not null. This holds the value of 25, or the key of 25. So now that we're down the next level, we're gonna go forward and say, okay, is 31 less than or equal to 50? It is, so we can go forward. Now we can't go forward again because positive infinity. That is, that's greater than 50, so we can't go forward. So we're going to drop down another level because it holds, because it doesn't hold a null reference. And now that we're down the next level, we're going to go try and go forward. And we're going to say, okay, 39 is less than or equal to 50, so we can go here. Now, now we're going to try to drop down another level. We can. And then once we're here, we're going to try and go forward. I'm going to say, okay, 50 is less than or equal to 50, so we can go here. You might think, well, why don't you just stop here? We see it as 50. And that's because we're going to be using a generic utility method for searching because the searching, inserting, and deleting are all going to be using this, meth using this general met utility method. And that's because we always have to search for something before we can perform an action in a skip list, okay? So now that we're here, um, we're going to say, can we drop down another level? And we cannot because its below reference is null. So that means we're done. Whenever you can't drop down anymore, you're done. You found the node 
um, that you're looking for, okay? So now, then what we would do in like the searching algorithm, we would say, okay, is 50 equal to the key, uh, is, this, is this node's key that we found, um, is it equal to the one we we're searching for? And the answer is yes, so we would return, we would return this node. Okay, so that was kind of easy. Uh, but there's a couple other uh, edge cases. Well, what if the the first one being what if the key we're searching for doesn't exist? And that's a good question. And let's go through that real quick. Okay, so let's say we're searching for 49. That doesn't exist on the skip list. All right, so let's start at the top left again. Always try to drop down first. We can drop down because this below reference is not null. Then we're going to Scan forward, you stop, we're gonna stop here because of positive infinity, it's greater than 49. Then we're gonna drop down level, we can go forward, we'll stop here, we can go down, then we can go forward again, stop here, we can go down, then we can go forward. Okay, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna kinda make this, I'm gonna kinda explain it here. So now that we're here, we can't go forward anymore because of positive infinity, it's greater than 49. So we're going to drop down. Okay, we can drop down. So now we're going to try and go forward. We can't because 50, because, uh, 50 is greater than 49. So we can't go forward anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and drop down again. Well, we can't drop down anymore. And, it's, and like I said, if you can't drop down anymore, that means you're at the node uh, that you're, that, that means you're at the node that you're trying to find. Now we're not trying to find 39, but uh, we're going to return this node because it's the largest node less than or equal to 49. I hope that made sense. I'm going to say it one more time. It's the largest node less than or equal to 49. And that's always the node we're going to return. So for a third edge case, you may be wondering, well, what about if we find a key in one of these towers? Um, like, how does that work? Because, uh, for instance, 17 has... Uh, five keys all in the same tower. Which one do we return? Okay, good question again. So let's uh, do that. Let's, uh, let's perform that search there. All right, so now we're gonna search for 17, which we does know exist here. So of, as always, we're gonna start at the top left node. We're gonna go down. All right, then we're gonna go right. We scan forward. 17 is, this node's key is 17. It's less than or equal to 17, which we're searching for. So we can stop here. We can't go forward anymore, but we can go down, okay? Remember I said in the algorithm, you only stop whenever you can't go down anymore. So now we're gonna go down to this node. We can't go forward anymore because 25 is greater than 17. So we try and go down, we stop at 17. We can't go forward anymore because 25 is greater than 17. So we go down. And we kind of keep doing this because all these nodes are going to be greater than 17 because we've found the key we're searching for. Um, but as far as the algorithm goes, we can keep going down, right? So we finally get down to this node and on uh, uh, the bottom level, and we try and go down again, and we can't because the bottom level's um, node that's holding a key of 17, its below reference is null, so we stop. So we would return this node right here okay not the one not any of the ones not any of the other ones on the tower it'd be the one on the bottom level okay so in the next video we're going to go over insertion and deletion but we're still going to be using the same searching algorithm to return a node okay and then based on what we find um is how we're going to execute the rest of that algorithm all right uh, so i'll see you next time